Holy Cross and Prayer for November 28th, 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. And continuing Matthew 25. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Truly I say to you, as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. For those who do not believe, it matters not what they did in this world. Their deeds, even if judged good by the world, hold no merit before Christ. The dividing line is belief or unbelief, plain and simple. Let us pray. O Lord, in holy baptism you put your name upon Andrew. Bless him now with the forgiveness of sins and a firm trust in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, merciful Father, you have appointed your Son as judge of the living and the dead. Enable us to wait for the day of his return with our eyes fixed on the kingdom prepared for your own from the foundation of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.